Hello everyone. So I just posted a, I guess, spring inspired DIY to the channel. It's definitely my take on a wreath. It's not your traditional wreath, but I thought it'd be fun to use some Dollar Tree material and turn it into something like that. If you do want to see that video, I will link it down in the description below and add a little card. Maybe I'll even share a little picture of what I've created. I did make a St. Patrick's themed, I guess like a fireplace mantle couple pieces together and I used some of the floral moss so I thought I would share with you this is the type of floral moss I used and I was like oh my goodness this is so easy to play with and work with that I needed to have another bag and I still have quite a bit from my other bag but I just thought you know what if I do a bigger project I needed some more moss so I bought some more moss and I got some reindeer moss so it's kind of got a different texture this one is more like um it's like a a more this looks more like grass and then this looks like moss so there's those were the two things that I, I purchased I also I actually went in to go and see if I could find some bath bombs for my daughter um, a couple weeks ago I shared with you a beautiful collection of bath bombs that I bought for her and her favorite were the mermaid and heart um, and I got super lucky that they had a few left and a lot were broken and these were the last two that I was able to manage so um, well, they did have a few other ones that weren't broken, but I did purchase a little mermaid tail. I'll probably take that in without the glare from the camera here. And then this little heart here that's like, like that. So that was, those were what I actually went in looking for and came out with a bunch of other things. Wanted to share that I did get one little cylinder type vase. These are so fun to work with if you're into crafting because you can transform them into beautiful candle holders and I had some ideas for them so I look forward to playing around with this. So that was another little item that I just needed to stock up on. These were back so I found a few of them sitting on the shelf and I was like oh my goodness I need that in my life. They are they were out I think a year ago and just randomly a few of them were put out so there was these and some other new uh, little candle jars were out as well which I thought were super cute but I grabbed one more of these because I have a little cute place for that. And then I got some of the spray on hydrogen peroxide and it's just, it was just 3%. Um, I just love this because it has the little spray thing. So if you have like a little hangnail or something that need a little cut that needs to be disinfected, rather than pouring all that hydrogen peroxide on that little cut, especially for a child, if you just spray it, it makes it so much more fun and I don't know. I just like having a little spray bottle on hand. And you can refill it, of course. So once you're finished with that, you can take your regular hydrogen peroxide bottle and then just fill it up. I got a, a wreath, even though I just made a really fun, I think it turned out pretty cool, uh, wreath. I did buy a little willow wreath uh, just in case I want to do something else for the spring with it. It's neutral colored and I'm right into the neutrals lately. Very I don't know, I'm being very simple and plain, nothing bright, nothing in your face, and I'm just, I'm really enjoying that. So I bought those, and then I got some more of these little wood letters. Now I found, um, I found the ones that were a little bit straight cut. I should have grabbed them from my craft room, but for what I have in mind, I needed, oh, sorry, I needed some more of the, like more traditional with the little square edging on the edges. The ones that I have, um, as well do not have that they're just straight lined which are really really pretty and really modern but I needed a little more traditional look oh I got a little two pack of artist canvases and if you've been watching some of my DIYs I've been going crazy with these art canvases they're just so much fun to play with uh, if you again look outside the box you can really create some really really create really cute things with it I made an adorable ladder using canvases I used I believe an 8 by 8 and an 8 by 10 for that but if you'd like to see that DIY I will link the card up above just so you can take a peek at doing something very simple like that but I have some craft items in mind for these and I thought they were just too sweet so I purchased that and I got a candle for my craft room I always love like I love having and this color actually goes really nice together as well but I always love having a candle uh, and this smells so pretty. It's the rose collection. I think these are my favorite is the rose collection from Dollar Tree I don't typically buy their candles a lot because I don't find their throw is fantastic I'm more of a Bath and Body Works or Indigo. Indigo has really nice candles as well or chapters 
but this one smells really pretty like I hope it has a nice throat but anyways I got that I did get another little wood frame as well just because I've been into these neutral things I thought you know what I better grab another plaque before they are completely gone and then um, I won't have my hands on it and plus I got that wood burning tool at Christmas time I haven't pulled it out of the box yet I was hoping maybe I can play around on this little on this little wood plaque and also um with the moss i got this one that's a spanish moss it's really super boring but because i've been into the neutrals as well i thought if i needed for easter or something i think would be so cute this one here with like little eggs or a little robin's eggs or something like that on this moss i think it would be super cute in a little basket and then actually I sh i'm going to share this with you because this was a couple weeks ago that I bought it, but I went in actually for, for, for foam board and I was super good. I went in for foam board and some sandpaper and a couple of things for my daughter and actually kind of just ran in and out. I didn't have much time that day. Um, but she had like a Lego sharing museum day at the school. So we used the sandpaper and paint from Dollar Tree and the big white foam boards. I'll actually put a picture up above so you guys can see. But this we made as like the sand. She had a resort theme that was on the beach made with Lego and it had slides so it was going into the ocean and the water and then uh, it was set up on the sand so we used this as a sand and I think it turned out so so cute she had so much fun making it with me and she's so proud of her display and I am so so proud of her work and commitment I did nothing to do with the Lego building that was 100% all her I did not help her at all with the Lego and I don't have patience for Lego and she did she went through 200 plus pages over 1300 pieces and she put together this resort and this um, tree house and she did a phenomenal job and I was just so happy that she was willing to display it at school and it, anyways and she didn't even know that this museum thing was coming up it was just so happened to be that she had worked on this Lego and then this little newsletter went out um, for this little Lego museum and I asked her would you like to display and she said yes and then I was like well you have a crafty mom so <laughs> let's get get use out of me to do that so off I went to Dollar Tree to get her some material actually and we used some of the green moss as well for the for the grass and we like made almost look like a little shrubbery um, in the little uh, treehouse area so it turned out so cute and I'm so proud of her you know what guys so I have been looking at each Dollar Tree. Do you remember when I, if you've been following my channel for a, for a while, I made a bit of an announcement that Forever in Time was going to be discontinued from Dollar Tree and that has happened. Uh, we no longer see restocking of uh, Forever in Time and that came in as those stamps, like the stamp sets were beautiful. They had um, letter stamps and happy birthday stamps, all sorts of stamps that I used to buy regular, like whenever there was a new set I would buy because the pri price was right and I've actually been using them in DIYs lately. However, they used to have like these little mini, I don't know if you guys remember these, the little mini perfect prints and st stickers made by Forever in Time galore and craft materials. Anyways, it's, it's far, it's random to find Forever in Time items now. So when you do find them, you actually pay attention because it's something that's not normally carried at my Dollar Trees anymore. And I was so happy to find this little random packet. Um, it was like sitting right along the bottom. There were some other ones, but I just, I thought, you know what? I better s purchase it before it's gone because somebody else is going to soup it up. But these are fantastic for making pocket letters. So if your store, if your store still carries stuff like this and you find it, these are great for making cards as well. Like you can cut out, oh, that's probably why. That's probably why it was left behind. It's got ripped pages. Anyways, that's okay. You can cut out like little, like a little shape of a house and make a little roof in the bottom with a different print. And you can make like a little, you can make all sorts of little cards, but this is why it was left behind. It was, somebody must have flipped through it and noticed it and I didn't. I was just so excited to find a forever in time item and so I purchased it. Anyways, I'm rambling on about that, but oh, I brought this over from my craft room because I've been talking to you guys about this for months and you always ask me what the heck are you talking about in my videos. So here it is. This is the acrylic organizer containers that I continuously search for at Dollar Tree. So they're just, they, they sell them individually like this. Well, they used to and I haven't been able to find them in over a year and they, they stack up so you can put all your markers or pens or whatever and then you can see everything through here. 
but you can stack them up and I have a few of these stacked up way high, probably three or four high. I don't like to go any higher than that because then it, it does get heavy and these are not like the best quality, right? But yeah, they just, they clip into to one another. And if you have access to ordering these through your Dollar Tree website, I know us Canadians don't have access to ordering through Dollar Tree website, but Americans do. Definitely take a peek because I have never seen them restock these ever. So I'm curious if you guys find them. They look boring, they look useless, but they are genius little containers for a crafter or even a pen, a pen addict or something like that. Or um, what is it called? Copic markers, they fit my Copic markers. They fit everything. They're fantastic. Oh, they also fit like little containers. Like if you want to put little containers with all your gems and trinkets and stuff, they hold that really nicely as well. But anyways, until next time, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed my random haul. It was really just quite a few small items I thought I'd share with you guys and chit chat. But until next time, everyone, have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.